always a huge pet peeve of mine when people don't show the final product at the beginning because I want to know if it actually is going to be what I want and uh, hopefully this is what you want. So if it is, keep watching and you'll, I'll show you how to get this. It's a quick dust impact, uh, dust not smoke. So I want to say it's a weird background. I think why would dust happen if something hit right there? It probably wouldn't. I just what I picked for this one. So anyway, short and sweet. Let's make it fast. Let's go ahead and set a very new uh, project. So everything can be done from scratch. This is Blender 2.9, but it'll probably work just as fine with 2.8. Get rid of the default cube. Don't like it. Don't need it. Actually, I don't mind it, but it's not really useful there. Go ahead, hit circle, click tab, click F for fill. Click tab again to exit. If you don't do that, your particle system won't be in the right place. Speaking of particle system, let's not speak of it yet. Let's go to visibility and let's say let's not show in the render. Uh, just take care of that now so you don't forget later. Go to particle system and uh, actually add a particle system. Um, 1000 is fine. Frame start is going to be one. Frame end is going to be one. And go down here and say just 30 frames. So if I were to actually do that, look, it goes off into infinity, but that doesn't matter because it's not going to be alive that long. It's only going to be alive one. So boom, one frame, pop. That's all we want it for. Now, the secret sauce is Blender does everything for you. We go ahead and quick effects, quick fur, no, slow, no, smoke, yes. All right, I got that right there. And if I were to render right now, we'd actually have smoke, which is kind of interesting because now you can start to see the differences if you use the smoke uh, 2.9 or prior. It, everything works differently. And the earlier tutorials don't seem to help as much because you almost have to have tutorials now for 2.82 or later. But that's neither here nor there. Actually, it is here. Uh, let's go in there. So you got two modifiers actually. You how have particle system which you made and fluid which it made when you clicked quick smoke. Actually go into the physics of quick smoke and there's only one setting you have to worry about right now. It is the flow source which is going to be particle system. Don't actually forget to pick the particle system because otherwise you won't have anything. Um, and then go back to the smoke domain and go you're in physics already. So if I were to look at it there, actually looks kind of similar. There's going to be some adjustments right here which would be buoyancy density. I think what I picked earlier for fun is I picked a two and I picked heat of a three and you can fiddle out these and the ferocity is 1.5. So you can see after a certain point, it just goes a little crazy. Like uh, everything's just like a big party happened in the, in the cube, in the smoke cube. Uh, that's not really what we want, but that's okay. Because again, it's not going to be alive that long to actually show that. So if you go into dissolve and click maybe a three, I think that's what I gave it. Uh, next thing you know is it's very quick. In fact, boom, that's pretty much what I want for that. I'm going to go down and set my frame start as one. And my frame end is probably 12. I don't even think it's a lot. I think I go 15 because not gonna hurt um, and yeah it's a really a really quick just blast anything else I forgot to do actually I rule of force I did 40 divisions there the higher the more refined but I actually don't want it that refined so time scales four and that's four and that's four so will it re-render you know it re-renders if it slows down a little bit for a second okay that actually is fine with me fine by me um, now if you were to render this you actually wouldn't see anything because you don't have any lighting but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and set the Resolution down 50% because that's safe. So if you're doing a lot of tweaks, you don't want a high resolution because you're going to actually lose so much time in waiting for test samples to go. So when you get your final product, yeah, I think go back to 100%. But otherwise, don't worry. And leave it, of course, at EV for now because cycles takes a lot longer too. So what does they say? Oh, light source. All right, let's go here. And this is the world setting. And I'm going to go ahead and click color. And that color is going to be an environment texture. And I'm actually going to click open and go into my HDRIs and I think my demo had the free city lights, so go ahead and sit there. I can hit a quick F12 and see what it would look like at this frame. So there you go. You don't see it because I'm on frame 9 and the dust has already disappeared. Go ahead and go to render animation. And again, it's an EV. It should be pretty darn quick. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. I think it's almost finished. Almost there. Uh, all right. There it is. So I can actually go click view automation and voila, you got some dust there. Quick forward. Now, again, if a ball dropped and hit this thing, you wouldn't have that kind of dust there. But if you're on like a, a dusty road and you can uh, uh, obviously edit these, change these, do whatever you want with them. But uh, this is a good start for just a quick little uh, dust impact, which I had a really hard time finding. A couple of people tried, but it was older ben versions of Blender. So it didn't really help that much. Hope that helps. That's only a couple minutes, right? So uh, yeah. Cheers.